In this video, I'm going to show you how to play arcade games using the MAME emulator on your Wii U. What this guide is going to include is how to set up the emulator, how to get the virtual Wii channel, as well as how to get the Wii U channel forwarder. Now unfortunately, I can't show you how to get the ROMs, but if you want a nudge in the right direction, you can join the Discord. But anyways, let's get started. Everything I'm using is linked down below. So the first one is going to take you to this Wii Brew page for MAME Wii. Now it says Wii, but it also works on the virtual Wii. So on this page, you can read up on the emulator. You can see which controllers are compatible. It looks like the GameCube, Wiimote, and Classic Controller. You can look into issues and compatible ROMs, etc. But we're just going to click the download button on the right side of the page and it'll take you to this Google Code Archive page and we're just going to download the first one set that says MAME Wii. It'll download a zip file in the bottom left. Now once you have that, we're going to go download the virtual Wii WAD. So I have a Google Drive link down below, it'll take you here and just click download and it'll say MAME Wii V Wii WAD. I actually had to convert this into a virtual Wii WAD. If you want a video on how to do that, that's in my Wii modding playlist. And in order to install this, we need some YAM mod. Or you can use another WAD manager, but this is my favorite. So there's a link below. It'll take you to the Open Shop channel. It'll say some YAM mod. And just click the download button, and it'll download as a zip file as well in the bottom left. And then next up, we're going to download the MAME Wii U forwarder. Now, I couldn't find one, so I actually made one myself. But anyways, just click download and uh, it'll download another zip file in the bottom left. In order to install this Wii U forwarder, you need WAP Installer GX2. So if you don't have that app already, you can go to the Homebrew App Store linked below and download it from here. So once you have all of those ready to go, open up the SD card you use to mod your Wii U and let's get it set up. I'm just going to click show all here just to have them all ready to go. Go ahead and open up the MAME Wii zip and you should see apps and MAME. So we're just going to highlight both of these and drag them onto the root of your SD card. And then once they're on there, you can close that zip file and then go ahead and open the SUM YAM mod if you need a WAD manager. And then just drag the apps folder onto the root of your SD card. I already have this one, so I'm just going to replace the files here. You can exit out of that zip file. And next we're going to add the MAME Wii V Wii WAD. So if you don't already have a WAD folder on your SD card, go ahead and create one. All lowercase WAD and just drag the MAME Wii V Wii WAD inside. And now for the Wii U forwarder for MAME, if you don't have an install folder, go ahead and create one of those. I already have one and again all lowercase and we're just going to open up the I guess it's a RAR file, not a zip, but open it up and you should see MAME, MAME Wii U forwarder. If you open it up, you should see app, H3, and title files. That's what we want. So just grab that and drag it into the install folder. And again, we're going to be using WAP Installer GX2 to install that forwarder onto the Wii U menu. So once you have all of those transferred onto your SD card, now it is time to set up our ROMs. Now again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I can't show you, but I have a few backed up already. So in order to place your ROMs in the proper spot, open up the MAME folder on the root of your SD card, and then it should look like this. You should have a ROMs folder already inside, but if not, just create it. And I have these three ROMs on my desktop, so I'm just going to grab them and drag them inside. Now, not every ROM is compatible, so if you have issues with certain ones, it's good to get a few and you know, find one that works to make sure you have the emulator set up properly. But once your SD card is finished, we are ready to head over onto the Wii U and get it set up. I'll meet you over there. All right, we're over on the virtual Wii, so let's head over into the homebrew channel and make sure that the emulator works before doing anything else. So once your apps load, just go ahead and find MAME Wii Arcade Emulation. Load it up. It's, this emulator was created by Toad King, if you did not know. So it looks like it loads up fine, so let's exit and go get the virtual Wii channel set up. Now that we're back in the homebrew channel, go find some YAM mod and we'll load it up and this is where we're going to install the WAD. Now this WAD manager along with all of them, as far as I know, you can only use a regular Wii remote, not a third party or one with built in Wii Motion Plus. Those ones don't seem to work, so just a heads up. But when you're here, press A on Wii SD slot and go find MAME Wii V Wii WAD. Click A on it and A to install. And it should be pretty quick. When it's done, just press any button to continue and we can press the home button. 
and it'll take us back to the homebrew channel and then I will meet you back on the VW menu and we'll check it out and there it is we now have the main channel on our virtual Wii menu now you'll never have to go to the app in the homebrew channel again you can just load it from here so let's uh, test it out that's pretty cool <laughs> And there we go, so the channel works, that's great. And before we play the game, if you're using a Wiimote like me, or any controller I guess, uh, it's good to go to Configure, General Inputs, we can go to User Interface, and we can kind of customize it to whatever controller we're using. So right now it has NA on pause, so if you click 2 on it, I'm using the Wiimote by the way, and I can change that to the plus button, and then you can kind of customize the user interface to however you want. So if you go all the way down, you can press 2 on return to prior menu. You can go to player 1 controls. And then as you can see, you can uh, also configure those as well. Player 1 up, I'm going to press 2 on it and click up on the D-pad. B1 down, I'm going to make it down. <laughs> so I don't think these actually were set, so you might have to do this. Left, right. So now that we've changed the controller settings, we can return to the prior menu. And let's start up our game and make sure it works. Make sure you're legally entitled to play this game. And don't worry, we're going to install the Wii U channel right after we make sure the game works. And there we go, we're loading up. Now we're playing Pac-Man. So there you go, that is how you set up the emulator. So now we can exit. Also, um, the only ROM that's showing up is Pac-Man, so I assume that the other ones I have are not compatible. So let's head back to the Wii U menu and get the Wii U channel forwarder installed. Once you're back on the Wii U menu, head over into your WUP Installer GX2 app or channel as I have here. If you don't have the channel and want to get it, there's a link to a video below on how. But just load it up and let's get the channel installed for MAME. Now i got to switch over to my camera as you can only see this part on the gamepad. So once you're on this page, scroll down until you see MAME Wii U Forwarder by FS47. Click on it so there's a green check mark and press install. Are you sure you want to install? Click yes. And you can install it to your NAND or your USB. So I'm going to be installing to my USB. Now it's very small and it should be pretty quick. But once it says successfully installed, just press OK. And there we go. So we can press the home button and go check out our new channel. And there it is, the main channel on your Wii U menu. Let's start it up and make sure it works. So there you have it, you now have the MAME emulator along with the forwarders on your Wii U ready to play. Now if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, it really helps me out. And if you ran into any issues, just comment below or join my Discord which is also linked below and I'll try to help you out. If you want to support the channel, you can become a member down below or you can use the super thanks but of course that is not expected. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.